His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudabia Palace today, Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed Al Mullah, Shura Council Speaker, Ali Al Salah, senior members of the Royal Family, ministers, intellectuals and a number of chief editors of local newspapers. His Royal Highness expressed pride in the international appreciation of Bahrain led by His Majesty the King, which reflects the positive perspective of the countries of the world and how they view the achievements of the kingdom. He appreciated the noble sentiments of the people on the occasion of being granted several international awards and prizes. The Prime Minister commended the role of the national press in enlightening public opinion and conveying the thoughts of the people, praising its commitment to national values. He also asserted support to journalists and media personnel in all fields, confirming backing to their employment rights. For their part, the audience hailed the efforts and contributions of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the development of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today the Flame of Peace Award from the President of the Association for the Furtherance of Peace, Her Imperial Highness Archduchess Hertha Margaret, as the first Arab Prime Minister to be granted such an award. The award is presented to His Royal Highness in appreciation for his efforts in the humanitarian field and his support to peace and reinforcing relations amongst the people of the world. A ceremony was held at Gudabia Palace in the presence of the Vice President of the Association, Archduke Sandor von Habsburg, several ministers, speakers of the representatives and Shura councils and senior state officials in addition to media personnel. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed appreciation for the efforts of the Association for the Furtherance of Peace and its role in spreading the culture of peace, coexistence and tolerance so as to spread stability across the globe. He said the award is honouring the people of Bahrain, who represent a model for openness and social cohesion, thanks to their values of tolerance and peaceful coexistence amongst all segments of society. He stressed that Bahrain is a gathering point for various civilizations and cultures who live side by side with freedom and equality. The Prime Minister noted the role of society as a partner in bearing the responsibility of reinforcing world peace through enhancing efforts to face international challenges and rejecting all forms of violence and terrorism. For her part, Her Imperial Highness Archduchess Margaret affirmed the Prime Minister deserving of the award, which shows appreciation for his pioneering role in reinforcing humanitarian and peace work across the globe. She said His Royal Highness is an international personality that is respected by the international community thanks to his numerous achievements in various fields in general and in achieving the aspirations of the people in particular. She expressed the association's honour to present the award to His Royal Highness in appreciation for his role in consolidating mutual respect and understanding as well as the values of tolerance and coexistence amongst the Bahraini people in addition to supporting regional and international peace and security.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, then held a meeting with the President of the Association for the Furtherance of Peace, Her Imperial Highness Archduchess Hertha Margaret, and her husband, Vice President of the Association, Archduke Sandor von Habsburg. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed that all people of the world are peace-loving and that terrorism is a man-made issue that is alien to societies and is not linked to any religion. He urged all the people of the world to live in peace and love, highlighting that the people of the region are peaceful and their countries have shared interests with all countries of the world. He said displacement and forced migration is the result of terrorism and policies which have caused tension and destruction of countries as well as negatively impacted the future of people. He expressed pleasure in receiving the Flame of Peace Award, which reflects the follow-up of international authorities and institutions on Bahrain's efforts in the field of humanitarian action and support to peace as well as strengthening global humanitarian relations. On behalf of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Deputy Premier Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, accompanied by President of the Association for the Furtherance of Peace, Her Imperial Highness Archduchess Hertha Margaret, and Vice President of the Association, Archduke Sandor von Habsburg, unveiled the Flame of Peace Award monument. The ceremony was held at the National Museum in presence of speakers of the representatives and Shura councils, ministers, officials and media personnel, in addition to guests. The president of the association delivered a speech in which she said that the award is only presented to leaders of people, organizations, countries, cultures, nature and environment, adding that it symbolizes peace, friendship, courage and persistence. She confirmed that the award was granted to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in appreciation and gratitude for his efforts in supporting development and peace in the world. Deputy Premier Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa congratulated His Royal Highness for the award and commended his tremendous efforts that attracted the attention of specialized United Nations agencies in addition to international institutions. He asserted that the award reflects Bahrain's reputation and confirms the sound approach of the Prime Minister in achieving the aspirations of the people in a peaceful and stable environment. Following the ceremony, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa held a lunch banquet in honor of the Kingdom's guests. reason for giving His Highness the Flame of Peace Award today here in Bahrain is for his exemplary work in humanitarian area and for promoting peace on a, on a global level. He has shown over many decades that Bahrain is a, like a jewel in the Gulf to, to shine of how people can 
live and communicate together. This is a, this is a very important recognition to, to Bahrain as a country looking for peace and harmony uh, in the region and in other parts of the world. And I think uh, Bahrain and um, His Highness, the Prime Minister, uh, deserves this recognition, in my view. Under the auspices of the Commander of the Royal Guard, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, and in the presence of the Head of the Special Royal Force, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, the Royal Guard Day was celebrated, where a number of sports activities were held. The sports activities included aquathlon, uh, swimming, running, shooting, volleyball, football and tug of war. This was in addition to the holding of various military-related field activities by Royal Guard affiliates. At the end of the competition, the Commander of the Royal Guard, Brigadier Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa crowned the winners of the race. A team from the Special Royal Force secured the Royal Guard Day Championship and the cup was received by His Highness Major Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad honoured the organising committees of the event as well as the participants in the activities. He congratulated the winners of the various races, wishing them and other teams every success. He affirmed that participation and competing in the activities came to reflect the success of such an event as well as meeting its noble objectives, which include elevating fitness and tolerance. He praised the fine administrative procedures of the event, which he said left a positive impact on the affiliates of the Royal Guard.
The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Al Salah, affirmed on the distinct role of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in the field of economic development, humanitarian work, enhancement of global peace and consolidating human relations and coexistence amongst the people of the world, irrespective of their race and religion. Mr Al Salah conveyed congratulations to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on receiving the Flame of Peace Award from Association for the Furtherance of Peace. He added that such awards trans translates the recognition of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's fine efforts and leading initiatives adopted by the government under the chairmanship of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in the area of supporting peace and coexistence. This, he said, stems from His Royal Highness's vision and belief in the importance of bringing peace to countries of the world through solving difference and conflicts as well as enhancing stability so that sustainable development can take place in various fields. The chairman of the Shura Council highlighted that such an award will be added to the list of accolades and medals His Royal Highness the Prime Minister has previously received, which he said is considered a source of pride due to its contribution in elevating the kingdom's name internationally under the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, received at his office at the Foreign Ministry Mongolia's Foreign Minister, Londeg Purefsurin, who is on a visit to the Kingdom. Sheikh Khalid reviewed with the Mongolian Minister the bilateral relations between the two countries and means of bolstering them in the various fields, including political, economic and culture, for the benefits of the two countries and their peoples. He affirmed on the importance of exchanging visits between officials of the two countries for the purpose of coordinating issues. The Mongolian minister conveyed the greetings of Mongolia's president to His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. He also voiced thanks and appreciation to Sheikh Khalid and his country's aspiration for further cooperation with the Kingdom of Bahrain, as well as opening new horizons of joint bilateral relations for the mutual benefits of the two sides. Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed affirmed on His Majesty the King's welcome for the current visit by the Mongolian Foreign Minister to the Kingdom of Bahrain. He voiced trust that the upcoming period will witness further cooperation between the two sides, including the important role that the private sector can play in seeking opportunities for developing investment, economy and trade between the two countries. Mongolia's Foreign Minister Lundeg Piers Vizin is on a visit to Bahrain at the invitation of the International Peace Institute. Middle East and North Africa Bahrain Director Najib Friji held a presentation under the theme Mongolia's Foreign Policy Initiative. More on this story now from Yasmira Anan. While Mongolia is located in the northeastern region of East Asia, its third neighbor foreign policy is supposed to allow Ulan Bator to boost bilateral relations with countries around the world, and Bahrain is no exception. So I'm very happy to be here in Bahrain as a first ever visit of the foreign minister to Bahrain. You will see that uh, Mongolia is very much interested to uh, to also to be active here. I um, uh, wish to, to visit Bahrain and then we are going to uh, have today the, the meetings and the, uh, just have the meeting with the uh, Chamber of the, of the Commerce. But how does Mongolia find investment opportunities in Bahrain? As we learned, it, it's, uh, uh, it's one of the liberal uh, banking uh, centers. You know that uh, till today I expected that maybe regional banking sector is Dubai or Abu Dhabi somehow, but we discovered that the, also the Bahrain is, is one of the liberalist here, the centers. Also the port is a logistic center here, and then therefore I think uh, uh, our private business is going to discover it very soon. And then I accompanied also some private uh, uh, banking people, and they're going to later arrive here. And then I think we have the, uh, the start of the big, big cooperation between the two nations. The redefinition of third neighbor is an ongoing policy. It was successful politically in allowing the nation to expand ties with democratic nations to both counterbalance Russian and Chinese influence and increase Mongolia's international profile. And this visit from the Mongolian foreign minister opens the doors to furthering foreign investment in Bahrain and is a potential gateway into strengthening ties with the Asian region. Amir Sminanen reporting for Bahrain Television. 
The excitement is building for this year's Formula One Bahrain Grand Prix. Nowhere more so than at Bahrain International Circuit. Esther Galoom was at Tahir. Fresh paint gleams in the sunlight as Bahrain International Circuit, the home of motorsports in the Middle East, prepares to welcome thousands of people from around the world to four days of motor racing, entertainment and fun. But BIC is more than just an F1 venue, it's a commercial enterprise, ready to go 365 days of the year. Chief Executive Sheikh Salman bin Isa Al Khalifa. 2015 has been one of our best years. We've had over 400 events. Um, it's been busy every weekend, I think, since November um, and the whole month, basically. And so um, it's, uh, it's very exciting. We've got a lot of mixed events going on. So we've had the Porsche Championship today, prize giving events, uh, private track days, uh, motorbikes racing, uh, two championship, one championship joining us this year. So it's very exciting. It looks Pro, you know, promising for the future that we have to continue and grow the sport and that's why we're here. Sheikh Salman is looking forward to this year's Formula One Grand Prix. Um, we're very happy. Uh, entertainment I think is one of the best uh, that we've had. Um, the racing, uh, we have a new uh, support race coming um, and that's going to be uh, announced soon. Um, and other than that, we're just looking forward to ticket sales are very good. Uh, Paddock Club is better than, than any other year and uh, a lot of good activities. So we're very excited and looking forward to all the fans joining us at uh, the BIC and enjoying a great uh, Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. Supporting the Formula One event, as in previous years, will be the Porsches, who have just finished their successful GT3 Cup Challenge in Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, Abu Dhabi and Dubai. Walter Lechner is promoter and head of Lechner Racing. Well, uh, like in the past years, we supported Formula One Grand Prix with two races. One is on the Saturday, just before qualifying, and the other one is before the race. It's always big fun for the spectators. They can identify a G2C Cup car with road cars, and it's noisy, so it's good. Well, the stand al alone event gives us the chance uh, to invite people for the future competing in the series and also winning the prize, which is the first prize is going to be a Super Cup round in, in Europe, which is worth 50,000 euros, so that's not so bad. So people are going to fight for that. Next time you see this pit lane and these garages, they are going to be full of cars, some of the most expensive cars in the world and the best drivers in the world. They're all waiting to start this year's Gulf Air Formula One Bahrain Grand Prix. This is Esther Galoom of Bahrain International Circuit. A fascinating weekend of motorsport and entertainment awaits fans at the 2016 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix as the minutes ticked by for the start of the biggest sporting and entertainment event of the year, which revs up tomorrow. Manama is being prepared for the Bahrain Grand Prix, which takes place on April 3rd at the Sukhair track. Bahrain is the second race of the season this year, following the Australian Grand Prix won by Mercedes Nico Rosberg with world champion Lewis Hamilton second. Every year, around 300,000 visitors enter the kingdom, mostly to attend the race. Those waiting for the race and benefiting from it are enthusiastic about the arrival of the Formula One teams. Motorsport is nothing new to Bahrain, but what's nice about F1 is because it's an international event with such a huge height and attracts a lot of tourists to Bahrain, especially those are motorsports enthusiasts, uh, makes, makes it more special to Bahrain itself. The Bahrain race was first held in 2004 in the heat of the day, but currently Bahrain is a night race similar to Singapore as the Abu Dhabi race starts in daylight and finishes at night. The Grand Prix weekend, which aside from Formula One, will include racing from other international and regional championships. In addition, BIC will be presenting its usual selection of family entertainment, including world-famous recording artists as well as music stars from Middle East and extensive fun through the weekend.